What's going on guys, Burrito here, and we're back to another Discord video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put different fonts and cool, like, characteristics on your text in Discord. I've been trying to figure out this video for a while now. Um, I looked up, like, how to do it last night, and I couldn't find any videos. So I hope this video solves a lot of people's questions, because I just figured it out today. So if you look on the screen right now, you'll see this notepad that I have, which has most of the commands to make your text look cool. And I'll be using these commands and you'll see what the text looks like. So first, we're gonna go with italics, okay? So italics makes your text have this little kind of slanted. So you can make it look like this. You can either put one asterisk and then your word, burrito, which I'll just copy and paste for now on so we don't have to waste time on spelling it. And if you do it like that, it's not gonna work. You have to make it so it's one, it's not one key away. It has to be right next to the text. So then it's ital italicized. If you don't want to do that, you can do underscore and then your word, and then it'll be italicized. Now, if we go to the notepad, now if you guys want to see how to do bold, this is how you do bold. So you're going to do asterisk, asterisk, and then your word. So you do not have to make it um, right next to the word, which you can if you would like, but it does not matter for uh, bolding text. And if you guys wondered uh, what is asterisk, asterisk is this little star, and in order to do that, you have to do, you have to hold, shift, and then plus eight, or hold shift and press eight. And when you do that, the asterisk will pop up. So now onto the next one, line through the word. So this is what it looks like. You're gonna pull out the tilde. So the tilde, some 60% keyboards, or actually most 60% keyboards do not have this key. I'll pop up an uh, image of the key right here. You can see it on the screen. Um, that, you're gonna press shift and hold down that key. If you don't press shift, it's gonna look like that. So the tilde, if, you, if we go back to our notepad, it says you have to do two of them, your word, and then two of them again. So now we have a line through our word. So that is pretty cool. Um, if we go to our notepad, we can do a smooth box around the word, which I'll show you how to do right now. So you, it's the same key as the tilde, but you don't press shift. So it looks like that. Oh, whoops. And you can, command, you can combine some of these commands. So if I do three asterisks, and then I do my word, it's gonna bold and italicize a word. So if we do this, I've never tried this actually. So it does not, ah. So some, some can combine and some cannot. So you can experiment with that. Um, now we can do a bulky box, which I bet many of you guys have seen, and you're like, how do people do that? Uh, one of my friends actually showed me how to do it. So, burrito. And as you can see, the font already changed. So, that's that means you're off to a good start. And it looks like that. So you'll see that it has, this is the smooth box. It looks pretty smooth. You can't really realize it unless you look at it. And now this one is the bulky one because it has a line on the barrier, on the outline. Now, if we go to spoiler, you guys have probably seen spoilers before, and you've either seen the word spoiler, like on Me6, you can disable spoilers. Um, if you watch my Me6 video, I said that I don't really care about them. Uh, I, I left them disabled because not many people know how to use it, number one, and not many people use it at all. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. You, probably, you guys are probably wondering, what is a spoiler? And I'm gonna show you. So if we go to the notepad, it shows you this is one of the hard keys that you have to know. So I'm gonna pop up this key on the screen as well. Um, without pressing shift, that's what the key looks like. It's a slant, but you have to hold shift, press it twice, your word, press it twice again. Now that is what a spoiler looks like. So it's called a spoiler because you don't know what it says. So when you click on the box, when you left click on it, it spoils what's under the box. So it's like a hidden word or a spoil. Now if we go back to the notepad, we can do an underline, which it looks like that is two, that's two underscores, yeah. So if we go here and we do underscore underscore, burrito, underscore underscore, that was underlined. Now uh, for one of our final commands, 
we can do TTS. TTS stands for text to speech. So you have to do backslash TTS and then burrito. Or for this uh, one, we'll do subscribe to ultimate burrito. Burrito said subscribe to ultimate burrito. So as you can see, it was just spoken to us. It said, burrito said, subscribe to ultimate burrito. So that's how you do uh, TTS or text to speech. And if any of you guys forget what it is, I'll put all of the um, command names and the commands in the description below. Um, if you guys have uh, the, the commands that have hard time with like knowing what keys to do is the box ones. So this one and this one and uh, this one, I think it was. It was, yeah, I think it was this one. Or it might have been, I think it was spoiler. Yeah, spoiler, and then putting the box around your words. So that's, those are the hard ones that you have to, like, know what key it is. So I'll put those keys on the screen right now with the command name and function under them. And you'll find the command name and function in the description. Um, along with, uh, if you have any questions about the Discord commands itself, you can always go into your text channel, whichever one you're in, do backslash, and then it will show you. So you can do uh, a Giphy, it'll search anime GIFs on the internet, uh, Tenor, I think that's what it is called. I've never really used those before. Search animated GIFs on the web. Um, I might have, they might be the same thing. I don't really know the difference. TTS, text-to-speech, me, displays text with emphasis, table flip, unflip, those are some uh, shrug, some cool emojis or uh, lines, so that's what that looks like. And then, spoiler, it already gives you, uh, like, you don't have to do this. So you can just say, like, burrito, and then it'll already spoil it for you. So stuff like that. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showing you how to how to make different fonts and cool different characteristics about your text on Discord. Um, if you guys liked the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the like button. Uh, this is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge, and I hope you guys have an ultimate day. I'll see you later.